This video will show you how to set up SPAD next to work with the Simgineering G1000 simulator. The simulator works with version 0.9.12.65 or higher of SPAD next. To set up the flight instrument panels that you want to use with the G1000 simulator, open the FIPS menu. Select the flight instrument panel that you want to put one of the G1000 simulator pages onto. Go to Add Gauge, then Add Folder. Select the Data, Gauges folder in the G1000 simulator installation directory. There are six Simgineering gauges corresponding to six G1000 simulation pages. Page 1 is the G1000 MFD and page 2 is the G1000 engine display. Pages 3 to 6 are currently not available. Select the gauge corresponding to the G1000 simulator page that you want to load on the flight instrument panel. Then turn on virtual power. You should see the page in SPAD next and on your flight instrument panel. Save the configuration and then run the G1000 simulation software. You should see the G1000 MFD or engine display page appear on your flight instrument panel. Remember that SPAD Next has to be running first for the G1000 simulation to display on the flight instrument panel. A recent change to SPAD Next requires an extra step to be performed. Go to Settings, Application Settings, MSFS 2020. Check that the Enable Fly-by-Wire CDU WebSocket option is on, and that the WebSocket port number is set to 8088. 